Uh, hello, thanks. You're on the air with Scatterbrain. Uh, hello, Drew. Long time listener, first time caller. Oh, well, what can we do for you out there uh, from the booth here? Uh, so I hear you're accepting donations. Oh, my God. yeah, we, we definitely are. Yeah. How much can we so, put you down for? Well, I'm actually also accepting donations. Oh. For my startup company. Okay. Um, it's an what? artisan. Oh, it's an artisan craft experience. I'm uh, making wine for my cat. Wine. And wine for all the cats. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to write that down here because it doesn't feel real. I'm the type of person when I write something down, it feels real. I'm fairly well aware of cat wine. Cat oh, wine. no, it's real. It's yeah, very it, real. It, it's real. So it's you cannot get drunk cat on it. Day. It's National Cat Day? It is, yeah. That's why I'm calling today. That's why I'm making all the calls today. Right. You're just going through the, the – you're doing robocalls almost. Yeah. Like I went through the phone book and I was just like, this one, this one, this one. Well, so where are you at right now with investment? Like what, what is, what's the goal of the company? Like what do you, what's the next step you need? I really, I see this becoming a fortune 500 company. Right. You know what I mean? Like as big as McDonald's or Walmart or anything like that. Okay. It's so just, you know, there's a, there's a real need for it. There is. As someone who has a cat, um, I'm just going to ask right now, how, how are you going to promote responsible cat wine consumption? Well, the way I see it, uh, cats can't be tamed as is. Right. But By I feel nature. like wine's more of like a sleepy time drinking. You know what I mean? That's so I true. feel like that'll just make them docile. It hasn't worked so far for me yet, but I'm still hoping. As okay. a former uh, bar- bartender, I've never seen wine work as a sleepy time drink. It was usually more of a <laughs> we're going into the next dimension kind of drink and want to do it <laughs> while drinking juice. Well, well it, it always makes me sleepy. Well, see, I just don't, you know, I'm, I'm not going to critique an idea I don't know too much about, because uh, I, I think at this point, I think it's a good idea. I'm going to Mark Cuban you for a moment if I can. Um, I, I think that it's a good idea. I think that there's definitely some value there. Um, but, you know, you're, you're talking about uh, this, this hasn't worked yet. Like your cat's haven't really gone down since you've given them wine. So I'm just wondering what we can do and where can where can we invest to get some more trials in and you know start feeding some cats some of this cat wine and you know get more testing in. How how do we go about that? So if you want to actually just e transfer me about roughly ten thousand dollars, that would actually just you know really get things off the ground. So what would my ten thousand dollars be going towards though? Well, it would be paying the salary of our local employees. We hire only New Brunswickers. Okay. Um, so far, we have a staff of one. It's me. Um, also, you know, it's going towards the farming to do to grow the grapes for the cat wine. And it's going towards uh, acquiring more cats to test the wine on. Right. All right. Let, let, let's All get this things. down to brass tacks. We give you $10,000. How drunk are you getting my cat? They're going to be blackout drunk. Oh, man. I, uh, you know, I'm going to step in here, guys. Um, like I said earlier, I said responsible cat wine consumption. And we're talking about getting our cats blackout here. All right. Just, just sector. Well, like as so, drunk as your cat wants to get. That's fair. So yeah. let's just, what are the taxes like on cat wine? Are they less than on regular people wine? And how close to people wine is cat wine? That's a great question. So it's actually, um, well, you know, it's not FDA approved or anything, so there's no taxes thus far. I, I, I'm not too concerned on it. If it has enough alcohol in it, I'm pretty sure it'll kill is, whatever. Uh, I'm sorry, Mike. I, if, if it's not FDA approved, how do you plan to get it in a, on a store shelf? Well, because the FDA probably only affects America, not Canada. Um, does it? Yeah, we have a different panel. Well, either way, that panel probably wouldn't approve it either. Right? It's like the CFDA, I believe. So we got to hear. I'm typing. You can probably hear. Yeah, uh, it's, yeah. it's the CFDA. Um, I'm looking right here. It actually, oh, geez. It looks like they already have dog beer. Yeah, those people uh, ripped off my idea. It, I, you know, it's fine. Don't I, worry about it. Oh my goodness! I I think we have to donate. Mike Mike and I are going to make a donation on behalf of Local 107. We're gonna give we're gonna give you one thousand nine hundred and ten dollars. It's seventeen oh, cents. Yes. Uh, we're gonna give you that. No problem. No questions asked. Uh, uh, no, I, I I still have questions. I still want to know how drunk you're going to get my quote unquote cat. Oh, I get that. Ah uh, yes. See, um, you well, can buy you see... it at the store. It's 
free for you. The only real difference between the cat wine and the human wine is uh, during the, you know, fermentation process, I um, kind of sprinkled some catnip in there to make them really get into it. So this is so, just so this isn't even really cat wine. You don't get rid of that stuff in the wine that kills cats. There's stuff in the wine that kills cats. Yeah, that's definitely. This is what I'm saying. We need to do yeah. some more testing. Ah, uh, that's what your thousand dollars is going towards. You know, like it's almost two thousand. Now to be wait, Ooh. how are you going? What? I feel this is going down a very bad path. As somebody who was initially for this concept, still is for the it. testing that you're going to be going through going to be on cats or on ways to get rid of the stuff that kills cats? Well, um, I was going to get some scientists on board. Do you know any? Yeah, I, yeah, but they don't traditionally... They're not scientists so much as they are scientists. Like, you know, they he know how to... did some air quotes there, they, if that was Yeah, obvious. I assumed there was air quotes, but we're on the phone. They, they kind of... Yeah. yeah, they, they kind of know how to work a chemistry set for... I don't know, um condensing antihistamines are you telling me that they're not well versed in the anatomy of a cat then uh well you didn't ask for that specific you said scientist i think you oh, need yeah, a veterinarian but yeah i, I, I think so a ver- scientists. veterinarian scientist or chemist well, i think a veterinarian is a scientist well no they're a doctor one can argue that anyone's a, a scientist doctor. i'm a scientist well amateur don't say that i'm a scientist period. fine you're a community scientist thank you there's I mean, I created cat wine, so I feel that I'm something of a scientist myself. I think that's more of like sorcery. I, Alchemy. I, yeah, there you go. That's I think it's more of, of just letting grapes go bad. You just yeah, let, that's a real science. You just you just buy grapes and put them in your fridge and forget about them? That's basically wine. I, mm. was, <laughs> I guess so. Um, I You know what? So thank you so much, caller. Uh, I didn't catch your name, though. Do you have a scientist name? Um, scientist Dr. Olivia. Okay, that's that's perfect. Uh, so yeah. we're we're gonna go ahead and uh, just make that e transfer. What's your Gmail? Um, it's actually science Dr. Olivia at Gmail. Com. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make an e transfer. Uh, the security password is going to be Batboy. Uh, Perfect. So definitely just keep an eye out of that. Um, my phone, I have bad connection right now, though, so it's probably going to take at least 30 minutes. Uh, so check your phone periodically for the next hour or two. And if you don't get it, check your spam because ah, I, uh, yeah. It's I, always in there, isn't it? And I definitely, I was going to say, too, uh, I think we're going to hook you up with our bonsai buddy. I think you two would definitely like i think he'd answer a lot of those questions for you that's that's fantastic Not thank you so that. he's been much. doing such a good job you helping truly, us with our fundraising oh you are you guys are truly like changing the world now well to we do it together this is a community radio station and Absolutely. we do it we do it with our listeners our volunteers and our partners and um so i gotta ask um you may have heard some of the promotions and merch combos that you can win or not win but you get you receive the you receive the package when you donate <laughs> the monies. Uh, yes, yes. Is there a package to you that sticks out? Like, if you were to recommend any of the four packages, which would you say? Honestly, the fanny pack. Yeah. That is definitely like the item I have my eye on. Yeah. So because got... you know, you know what you could fit in the fanny pack? Bladders of cat wine. Oh my! So. You say bladders of cat wine? I do. Yeah, think it's got wine the comes little, in a bladder sometimes. The little hole in the front too. You could run a tube out. Yeah. You oh can... my god! And, and right into the cat's mouth. Well, I think I think we uh, we figured out what we're doing with our local 107 funds. We're going to make some cat wine. Heck yeah. So thank you so much for calling Dr. Scientist Olivia. We're going to keep things rolling. we got 10 minutes left of our program. So we're going to play a song, and uh, I, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, I hope, I hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, thank you so much for your money. Yeah, no worries. Uh, just, just remember the password is Batboy. Perfect. I will remember. All right. Well, you have a good night. Thank you for calling. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.